coach of the Chicago Dragon Bolts. And today, we are in the BBL playoffs. Hello, we made it. Yes, sir. Been big surprise. I did not, did not think we were going to make it, but here we are. Um, but, you know, fun fact, we're fighting the number one seed, meaning we barely squeaked into the playoffs. That's what that mainly means. As well as that um, we're fighting the guy with... Uh, with uh, the old Kali Rex, Urshifu, Tapu Fini, Nihilego, Genesect, freaking balls to the walls team. I don't know why I'm leaving. I don't know why I'm leaving. But yeah, man, it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's quite the matchup. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. It's quite the matchup. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, you can never count yourself out, I suppose. But uh, the matchup is not looking uh, the best for us. But we're gonna try. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it, man. But yeah, man. We're just gonna get into this battle and just see how just see how it goes. Honestly, I don't. Uh, I'm. You know, this could. Uh, I was predict. I was talking to someone about this earlier, and I was all like, you know, this could be the very first time in draft format that I actually get six would I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna be honest. With you. I would not be surprised at all. Would not be surprised at all. Uh, but with that being said, we're not just gonna go in here and just freaking lay on our backs. No, we're not. No, sir. But all I know is if they lead off a of Calyrex Ice, I'm just, you know, I'm stuck, basically. That's all I've got to say. I'm going to be stuck. But I'm going to, you know, click a button. That's for sure. That's for sure. We'll click a button. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ubers has been really fun. I'm not going to lie. It has been really fun. The last Ubers league I was in before this one, we won. That was a showdown league, granted. But, you know, we still won it is the crazy thing. So we also had Dragapult 19, but we also had a Veltal, which was the other Uber, which is broken. Not to say Kim White isn't broken as well, but, you know, it's not as broken. And they do bring the Rune Regas. Very upset. Very upset about seeing Rune Regas. Because last time they didn't bring it. And I was like, yo, freaking Specs Coco could have went crazy. And now, there it is. There it is. So we're going to lead off with our Uber. I'm thinking, it's an Uber's League. Let's just lead with it. I don't see a reason. I don't see a downside. Like, he can kind of do big damage against everything besides Nihi Lego. Like, if he's, if, if he's like Meteor Beam... Nihil Lego, I'm kind of just giving that like a free, a free media beam, because I can't Oko a flash cannon, because we're not running uh, Earth Power. Probably should have been running that. Where's my freaking camera, brother? Got to take a picture of the team. Yes, sir. There it is. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lead off with Uber. Gives us a decent matchup against everything. I'm glad to not see Genesec. Very upset on seeing Runerigas though. I knew it was. I knew it was gonna be freaking. I knew they would bring Runerigus this time. Because they didn't bring it last time. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. No no Runerigus against a Coco, you know, terrain potential team. You know who would have went crazy, crazy here? Septile. Like, after Calyrex was gone, Septile could have freaking just won this game. That would have been wild. But we didn't bring it. So let's see if they just lead off. We'll just, we'll just lead off double Ubers. I'll just click Blue Flare. Engage damage. It'll probably won't do anything because last time they were assault vests, and I would assume they're gonna be assault vests again. It just makes sense. It's just a really good, uh, a really good what's called. I mean, like, you know, what was what was I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'd be more scared of trick room, but assault vest just doesn't die, which is the other problem. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. I'm also gonna check out the game audio because last video I recorded, the game audio was just a little bit. Oh, they set it off a of Ronin. Well, that's not cool. Well, I mean, we could only assume they're scarfs. They will knock us out. So if they click close combat, so I'm just gonna go out into Mandibuzz, because that is that's literally you know it's what it's here for. They know that they could you know predict that and double out an affinity or something. I'm just gonna click it though. I'm just gonna click the Mandibuzz button. I don't think they'd be protective pads because if they are, I could have just could I have knocked them out with Ice Beam. Potentially, right? No, I wouldn't have. But yeah. But yeah, we're trying to check game audio volume because last, like I said, last video I recorded, I don't know if it was too loud or too low. I'm going to assume that's fine. What it's at currently. But yeah. They're deciding about this one. Because I could be Choppleberry lead. I was actually thinking about running, running with the Chopple. I come out first, so they click the button. Alright, are they protective pads? They U-turn. Damage, 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 damage. Yes, sir. No protective pads. Let's go. That's damage. We'll take it. Um, They get an easy Finny or Raikou here. Easy Finny or Raikou. Um, or low-key easy Nihilego as well. 
I guess they could also go... I mean, if they go Runavigus, I'm just going to foul play. I don't have a reason not to foul play in that scenario. But if they go, like, infinite... Okay, they do go Finny. Okay. So, my Finny switch-in isn't a thing. Do not have a Finny switch-in, so to speak. Um... Yeah, I don't. It's kind of Coco, but not really, because that's still, like, like offensive is doing damage against me. Like, offensive is doing damage against me. Like, actual damage. Uh, man, that's literally, that's literally, like, the only switch in, though. Like, I don't have another one. It's that or this. Hold on, I guess we can scout. We can scout, no, because if I take a lot of damage on this, then that's going to suck. Uh, let's just go Coco, dude. Let's just go Coco and scout for damage. Let's see, what, what's Moonblast doing to Coco? I only scout it for uh, Scald and Surf. Moonblast is a 2 KO, so that'll that'll hurt. Let's see, we've got the terrain up. Crap, dude. Runa Vegas, and I don't have... Oh, let's go. And I don't have freaking Surf on... Um... I don't have freaking Surf on, what's it called? So, the Wild Charge is obvious here, right? And if I'm them, and we're 252, Electric Terrain, Adamant. Ironically, wow, that's so crazy. So they, they should see the Thunderbolt coming here. They should go out in Moon Vegas, but I don't know if I want to call that yet, right now, or not. I probably should, right, and go out into and go out into Kirim, I probably should, like 100%. Or I should probably shouldn't go out into Wilmanda Buzz. Bro, do they do it? Nah, man, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. I'm gonna attack what's in front of me so far. Let's go! The Wakan Berry, that's crazy. Or Specs, though. I still did a, like, respectable amount of damage. Moonblast, this should hurt a lot. But it won't knock me out. Don't lower my sub attack. Thank you. Um, they could swap now. Like I said, don't care. I'm clicking Thunderbolt again. Um, because they probably thinks it doesn't knock it out, which it really probably doesn't. Oh, they do. Oh, snap! This might knock it out. Okay, we get rid of Finny. Let's go. Yo, that big threat gone. Yo, big threat gone. So they get a free Rune Regis here, but that also gives me a free Mana Buzz. So I'll just I'll just make that play. Um, unfortunately, this is our defogger and not Mana Buzz, so if they do go Runavikas and get rocks up, we're gonna be in a situation. Cause I won't be able to, I'll be able to, like, defog in front of, like, Raikou or Nihilego, but I wanna get damage on Nihilego, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Let's see what they do now. Very surprised they stayed in with Finny, but they, did, they didn't know I was Specs, but I guess they could've calc the, the, the Wakan Berry damage. But either way, I'll take that trade. We get Electric Terrain for the rest of the battle. I'm, I'm, I'm so upset I, I didn't bring the exact same Raikou. Because the exact same Raikou... Not Raikou. Raichu. The, the, the exact same Raichu I brought last time we fought this guy had Surf on it. Specifically for this Rune Regis in this situation. But I picked Electric Terrain this time. Because last time, they freaking kept Finny like, so healthy. Um, So I'm just going to go with Mandibuzz if they opt to like hit me. With anything that's not earthquake, it's gonna it's gonna hurt them. So I guess I could see an iron defense here, but that's why we're uh, they do stealth rocks. Dang it, dude! Ugh, it's so upsetting. So now essentially the foul play switch in is is Niki Lego or Raikou. Uh, I'm still gonna click it though. They do stay in. This should be doing a decent amount. Oh, yeah, that's a decent amount. Takes my overcoat. That's okay. Swapped abilities. Will-O-Wisp. Ooh, that's tough. That is tough. I think they would swap, though, right? They have to swap. They get a free Raikou or uh, Nihilego here. 100% they do. Like, they wouldn't stay in. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. No, they get a f the freest of Niki Legos, like right here. Or even Raikus. 
Let's go. So it's sucky that we're not. It's sucky. It's it sucks that we're not uh, boots on our guy. Yo, I'm tempted to just go hard. Freaking, hold on. I gotta calc this. Nihi, Lego. I really wish I was I was Earth Power on Kiram now. Um, wait, actually, doesn't Dragapult just uh, click a button? Dragon Darts has the chance to knock it out. Um, man. Oh, no, wait, wait. What am I thinking? We just go Swampert. I actually know. Wait, if the Grass Knot, do I die? If the Grass Knot, I do die. But, oh, no, I'm Scarfed. Okay, yeah, yeah. Duh. I forgot. That's why I brought our guy in. So they could they could be oh okay they could be predicting the um either the grass knot or the scarf. Either way, I'm simply clicking EQ. They don't have a switch in. It's Runarigus, but I, I I it might get too KO'd from this range. I don't know. But let's see. Flip turn probably knocked this thing out too. Nah, no it didn't. No it didn't. Earthquake guarantees. And like I said, there's no switches. The, just attack where your opponent can't defend. And that's that's clicking the EQ button. I hope I'm not peeking, bro. Like, I feel like my my audio, my mic audio has been been different <laughs> for the past couple videos. But hopefully it's okay. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys can hear a difference. Like, a huge difference. They withdraw. That's fine, bro. She's not... Okay. Does this to a KO. I really hope so. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, now we can click Specs Thunderbolt in the potential endgame, kids. Okay, this is good. They get a they get a really free um uh Calyrex right now too. Low key. Calyrex Ice. Earthquake is only doing like 30%. Yeah, oh my god, they go out into it. Um, See, so yeah, unfortunately, I just have to click it. I just have to hit it. Because, um... Like, even if they click Trick Room, they just... They kind of just win right now if they click Trick Room. <laughs> so hopefully there's still Assault Vest. Hopefully there's still Assault Vest and just knock, they just knock me out. Let's see how much damage. We should be doing about 30% unless they're defensive. That, eh, maybe that's 30. Oh, the trick room. We just lost. <laughs> we just lost. Um, Let's see. Let's see. We have... We literally have to sack a Pokemon every turn. So we have four turns. If we can get at least one prediction right on what move they're going to use... Um will be good. So if they click Glacial Lance here, I could go out into Kiram and eat it up. Well, no, not at the rocks. Not at the rocks. If they click... Huh. Man, I wish I was still Focus Ash on Dragapult. I do think that I just sacked this off now. Because if they overpredict and click Close Combat... It, the thing is, if they click Seed Bomb here, though... Like I have a really like I can switch into Kiram and then like I don't know. Either way, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to click Earthquake. They do click Seed Bomb. Damn it! I could have wasted at least one turn. Okay. They were smart to get up rocks because now Focus Ash. Even if I was Focus Ash, Dragon Ball it doesn't matter. So like, I literally gotta like literally everyone gets sacked. We got three more turns. Okay, so we have to keep two Pokemon alive, and it's probably, it's probably. Um, Coco and Raichu, Loki. All right, let's do it. Let's go Dragapult, I think, is who we sack off now. Yeah, let's go Dragapult. So if they click Glacial Lands here... After Rock's chip on Kiram, I'd have a I'd have a chance to live Glacial Lance. 
Um, man, I wish I had Sucker Punch or something on my guy. On... I should have went Kirim and then Dragapult. That's what I should have did. I mean, I, I think I might have to just go for it. Go for me living. I might just have to go for it. I might just have to go for me living. This doesn't, like, damn, dude. This sucks. I hate, I hate, I hate this horse. Uh. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. I forgot the plus one. I never cocked that. Never mind. They just win. I forgot. Okay, so that's two turns. Like, I really want to keep Manibus alive because it's the only thing that Oko's it. So I might have to sack Coco off now. Not now, now. Coco gets sacked off last, obviously. Alright, well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I knew this was going to happen, but at least we didn't get 6 0 right? At least they gave us one. They gave us two, actually, didn't they? I wish I had Sucker Punch on Dragapult. Um, we'll just Phantom Force, just because we can. At least, you know, at least they gave us two. They were nice enough to give us two. They were really nice of us. They were really nice to give us two. <laughs> That's how I gotta look at it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, okay, here, I could potentially win this. Depending, if I was, if I was a terrain extender on Coco, this could be very much winnable. Um... This could be very winnable if I was Terran Extender on Coco. But I'm not. Okay, let's do it. It's the last turn of Trick Room, I'm assuming. Yep, last turn of Trick Room. Alright, five turns of, of Electric Terrain. Uh, just gonna click Thunderbolt. In the off chance that they don't want to hit me for some reason. I'm clicking Thunderbolt. Oh boy. Seed Bomb. They just, why? Just because just they could, I guess. Just because they could. Should have had Protect on somebody. Anyone, really. Alright, well, we go Mandibuzz. Or do we just go Raichu? Electric Terrain. No, it's literally not doing enough. We have to go Mana Buzz. Oh, we're burned. I wonder if that... No, that, that shouldn't change. Bro, they're like plus four. That shouldn't, that shouldn't affect anything. They can go Urshifu if they want to. I don't care. I'm, I have to. I have to click Foul Play. Have to. Have to click Foul Play. Have to. Maybe I am peeking, bro. Because I, I keep seeing red. Popping up on the mic thing. But I swear I'm not yelling. I swear. Be the way we click foul play. They withdraw. That's whatever, dude. Go out in a saber. As expected, as expected. Foul play. Got clicked. Hopefully they're not calm mind. Hopefully they're not calm mind. Just knock me out, brother. You know you want to. Their light screen. Oh my god, this loser. Wow, imagine I was defog. Well, I mean, we have Psy Shock, which doesn't do enough. Let's see, they should have Shadow Ball then if they have this, if they're this weird set, I feel like. Shadow Ball, they really screens when they have, like, when... Offensive in terrain could have been crazy. I get it though. I get it though. Screens is nice. Um, so I'm gonna get. To, I'm just gonna nasty plot. Like it's kind of my only win con at this point. Kind of my only win con at this point. So I'm just gonna click it. They're probably light clay since we didn't see lefties or something like that. So, but yeah, I think nasty. Nasty like no matter what, nasty plot is just my only win con so far. But right now, I mean, not so far. See, they do click Shadow Ball. This won't kill me unless they're super offensive. Okay. 
Um, yeah, we gotta get a crit size shock, fellers. Crit. Okay. Never mind. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, universe. Thank you, Arceus. Thank you, Arceus. Thank you, universe. Unfortunately, electric terrain disappeared. So they literally just go out into um, a Shifu and win. If they click Sucker Punch, I'm going to go for electric terrain, and that's my win con. But I'm assuming there's Scarf. So I'm a, electric terrain is my win con if there's Sucker Punch. Let's see what happens. Cobaberry ain't even gonna come through either. Cause we're at like super low HP. They close combat. Wow. Very disrespectful. <laughs> uh, oh well. It is what it is. I mean, we made it a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be, to be fair. Oh wow, we still have Mana Buzz alive. We made it a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. That's for sure. This should knock me out. Yes, sir. I thought I thought Raichu was the last one. Yeah, it was. I mean, a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Like Jack, I said before the match started, genuinely thought I could have just got six would right there. But uh, hey, we get it was you know a little three out. Sucks losing the playoffs first round, but honestly. Like we played very poorly in the last half of this of this season, and I genuinely I don't have an excuse for it. Like it's, it's just what I it's just what happened. Like I genuinely just 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 uh just played bad in the last half of this season, which was uh you know a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna learn from this. If we do come back next season, if they accept us to come back next season, I'd I'd love to come back. Um, we're definitely gonna do a lot better, hundred percent. Cause bro, in the beginning of the season, I was just tearing through teams, bro. Except for the first week, week one we kind of kind of flopped, but after that, man. We didn't have a we didn't have another flop till week five and then once week five happened like bro I just I just went downhill I don't know what I don't know what happened but it's been a fun experience in the BBL love I love been, been love playing with these Ubers I would love to try Coco out on a team where it's the central mon whereas like I feel like in Ubers it kind of it kind of, it's good like don't get me wrong it's not bad it's Coco's great but it just kind of, you know you know it's definitely better in a in a standard draft format but it was fuck it was still good in this uh in this like like what was my even like, what was my KO? Like, I, I, you know, I did pretty decent with Coco. Like, six KOs. If, it was, if this was standard, probably would have been uh, a little bit better. Um, But, yeah, man, shout out to Polt. Didn't really do much with Polt this season, not going to lie. Minus, like, the week, week like, three or four, six zero. That's pretty much all he did all season. Um, But, yeah, man, it's been really fun. Uh, Once again, big shout out to uh, Livia Sama, the commissioner. Uh, for this league, glad she invited me to join. Big shout outs to my opponent. Link to his channel description down below. Make sure you go check them out. Make sure you go check out everyone who's in the BBL. Link to all their channels in the description down below. With that being said, I don't know how to end off this video. I'm just gonna end it off though. I'm just gonna do it. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you do. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.